Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 1st, 2023. Well, yesterday turned out to be kind of an interesting choppy day. Volume dropped off really sharply. We just didn't seem to have a whole lot of energy to keep things moving. Left behind a bearish engulfing candle here on the diamonds. And we have that uncertainty of a three day weekend coming up and some data points today that certainly have the potential to move the market substantially. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I hope everyone is looking forward to a great Friday and a long holiday weekend, three day weekend. That'll be wonderful. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as I mentioned, a three day weekend coming up. One of the things we do have to consider is that anyone who didn't take uh off yesterday planning the day off today which there will be a lot of folks not working today adding to their vacations um, or time or holiday time off um, we'll be looking to get away early today to escape the cities and and be off on their holiday plans so consider that carefully here today we're likely to see some uh, volatility this morning with the data coming out. We'll talk about that in a second, but then don't be surprised to see that volume really uh, contract quickly um, by about uh, noon today, maybe even sooner as everyone heads out for their holiday plans. Let's take a look at um, the diamonds here. As you can see, popped up into this resistance area of the chart right up there where I suggested if we um, push up in there and can't find any buyers um, that resistance did its job yesterday and pushing us back down with a bearish engulfing candle but here we are this morning with another pre-market pump boy we we're doing this every single day here lately pumping it in the pre-market and then we seem to be getting a fade it must be working really well for the institutions to do that because it gets enough people to jump in and then they're able to um, kind of sell against them as they continue to try and press us higher but watch this closely here today if the bears were to find inspiration maybe a pushback here to retest yesterday's low if the bulls were to find inspiration maybe we push up here and test yesterday's high to see if we can break through that area in the chart now keeping in mind we're hovering above our 50-day moving average here in the chart and we do since we've crossed up have a really nice technical pattern in here to hold as support in that area so if the bears were to um to come in it, it really wouldn't be all that odd to see us maybe test that 50 day moving average. The question is, you know, when we had our um, inflation data yesterday showing us that inflation actually increased on the Fed's favorite uh, metric, only up one tenth, but still more than double where they want it to be. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult to ignore uh, that as we move forward, but market's doing its very best to ignore that situation. So watch this closely. If we were to push back into this area of price support and trend, wouldn't be all that much of a question or all that much of a surprise if that were to occur. Pushing through up into here um, with some of the data that we've seen might be more of the surprise um, right now, but it certainly is possible. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Rallying up yesterday, and once again, we ran into some price resistance up in here and ended up fading as the day went on and testing this trend break right here. As you can see where we broke down through the trend. Um, this is a very common pattern. Um, if we don't have enough enthusiasm to push up or to continue pushing up, when we fail a trend like that, we'll oftentimes rally back up, test the underneath side of that trend, 
and then we uh, can see that pullback. So if the bulls can find inspiration here today, let's see if we can break this resistance here in the chart, pushing on up um, to maybe test the underneath side of that trend and maybe some additional resistance levels in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well, unfortunately, I think we might have a chance that we could pull back into this little area of price support right in here. Maybe the top side of that candle wouldn't be all that much of a, um, a hard thing to see uh, testing that area in the chart if the bears were to push. And then if we look over here at our uh, moving averages, you can see if we were to push down through there, well, then I think um, a, a likely test would be somewhere around that 50 day moving average in the chart. So kind of keep that one in sight. If we were to take a look at our QQQ, now QQQ, uh, pumped up nicely yesterday, continued to hold green into the day. But unfortunately, if you look at the entire NASDAQ, the majority of the move was contained in about um, seven to seven uh, big tech companies um, that did the majority of the lifting. And it's an interesting dynamic that we have in this market right now where we have enough big tech names in three of the indexes that and they're so dominant in those indexes that we really don't have to have much anything else working, just those to, con to keep these indexes moving higher. Now, I don't know what that means for the overall health of our market, but I would be a little bit careful, and I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. If you take a look right here, if the bulls continue to find inspiration, let's see if we can push up through this level. You can see we're trying to gap up here this morning, pushing on higher. And if they can push through that, well, again, there's that trend break right in here. We might push up into that area of the chart, see if we can test that area in here um, as resistance. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, I'm gonna suggest that we would come back down into this area of the chart if they were to be inspired today on our data. So watch that carefully and notice that that's still holding above this down um, downtrend break or uptrend break to the upside so pushing up resting pullback remember too many days to the upside and we can expect a pullback anyway so don't be too surprised um, if or when it begins uh, we've just kind of stretched this relief rally um, pretty hard we take a look at our IWM. IWM also struggling just a little bit yesterday here. The good news is we broke through this resistance and by the close, we held it. Um, so now we're trying to gap up here again this morning. I'm gonna use that same resistance area up here as I did yesterday uh, for that push back up. And if those bears were to find inspiration here today, well, first off, we need to break back down through this area. So that would be the area of support that you'd be watching. And if that were to fail, then of course, I'm looking for this area right down in here as the potential test. You will want to keep in mind that we're still pushing up into this downtrend here in IWM as we try to rally back. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX is pretty surprisingly showing complacency um, here, with, particularly with our inflation numbers and the fact that we're seeing uh, wages move up. We saw housing prices moving up. We continue to see food prices be a major problem and we're seeing uh, uh, energy prices moving up, um, creating those inflationary pressures in the market. So um, pretty darn complacent here if you um, ask me looking at our data and um, we'll see if they can continue to push that back down here to these low areas of the chart. Um, on this relief rally. Pretty surprising um, how um, just don't seem to have any fear in this market. If you take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 um, gives us a little bit of clue why we were pushing up yesterday in those indexes. You can see the weakness that came in here on our T2122, which means a four week new high, new low ratio. That's taking the new highs and the new lows and putting together an average. And we get this impression that everything in this market is bullish. Well, certain areas are bullish and very select companies are bullish. 
where the rest of the market is lagging way behind. So you can see we pulled back here pretty substantially yesterday in our T2122. Um, now what that means is, is if we can find bullish inspiration in that data today, we certainly have opened up um, an upside opportunity here. So we will have to consider um, if we can get some good data that we could really pop here in the market. If that data is not so favorable and we have that worry heading into the to a three-day weekend and people start selling off um, to uh, protect themselves into the long weekend then watch this carefully here we also have a pretty sizable opportunity to move back down here in the market so watch that close let's take a look at our uh, t2108 now whoop. There we go, T2108 also unimpressed yesterday. So you can see the percentage of stocks above the 40 day actually faded just a little bit yesterday. 39% of the stocks above their 40 day. So what you could really look at this is yesterday's move was really unimpressive here to the market. Um, although we had that impression that everything uh, was pretty darn bullish, except the Dow, then um, you can see that um, a majority of the stocks were a little bit weaker um, overall above that 40 day moving average keep in mind we have this resistance here in the chart so we can still uh, push on up here to test some of these resistance levels um, but just keep in mind multiple days up and you want to start looking for a resting pullback to begin at any time if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 also um, pushed back up here finally uh, toward the end of the day at parts of the day it was looking lower so picked up so the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average picked up just a little bit we're almost back here to 50 percent and we're pushing into uh, that resistance level in the chart so watch that carefully if they can continue that push or maybe break over that era 50 percent area we may be in good shape if we falter and slip here um, we have put in a head and shoulders top here on this one. So watch for that possibility if it can't break through to that upside. And then if we take a look at our T2101, I was honestly a little bit surprised with the the volume being as low as it was and choppy as it was yesterday that we saw absolute breadth continue to extend to, extend to the upside. Now, keep in mind, we want to continue to see that breath breadth moving up as long as we're in this relief rally if we start to see that falter then um, that's where some selling can begin to come in so watch that carefully let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and this is where our um, inspiration will come from today first off uh, we've had Bostic speak and we're going to have Mester speak a little uh, little later today. We've got um, employment situation number coming in here. Now the employment situation number, if it comes in as consensus suggests, is not going to be very favorable when you consider what the Fed wants to see. Consensus is suggesting 170,000 um, non-farm payroll numbers, which is less than the prior which would suggest we're not moving in the right direction. Um, however, we've seen some data here this week that might suggest that that could be a miss to the downside. And that might very well inspire the bulls. Now, also keeping in mind as we look through these numbers, um, nothing in here should be too much of a major surprise. Um, looking for average hourly earnings on uh, the month over month to have declined. Um, not a good thing when we're continuing to see uh, consumer prices rise. So um, it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts to these numbers. And then, of course, if we look on past that, we've got PMI manufacturing. PMI manufacturing number um, consensus is looking for a 47 
um, on that, remember anything below 50 says manufacturing is in contraction. We're going to have the ISM, which is the more important or impactful number. Um, looking for a tiny increase to 46.8 from 46.4. But once again, manufacturing in contraction. And we've been doing an amazing job here in this market, just ignoring that. We don't seem to care about manufacturing at all anymore. Uh, and then construction spending, constru construction spending is expected to stay flat. So watch carefully for that. And the Baker Huge rig count, which no one's going to care about. Now, after we get through these data points, there really isn't much to uh, get us going. As a matter of fact, there are no notable earnings reports for today at all. Um, nothing to be particularly worried about. So we get through those data points and that's going to be kind of the size of, of the market for the day. And um, you might want to be watching for after that period of time, after that period of volatility, seeing volumes shrink pretty quickly as we head toward the weekend. Um, let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon. When it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I pop uh, post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. And the folks that are uh, so kind to go through and, and put thumbs up on other people's comments and that just the engagement with a video helps the channel to grow. And I just want to th say thank you so much to all the kind support that you show this, um, this video. It means the world to me. Let's take um, a look at some stocks that could be setting up and let's keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here how you trade this, uh, considering the volatility that we could see this morning. And then, of course, um, things dropping off into a three day weekend. You'll want to consider how much risk that you have on heading into that three day weekend. So let's take a look at a couple here. TLRY um, had a really good day yesterday, pumping to the upside. I've been mentioning this um, here in the morning prep, and you can see we've broken this downtrend. This is that story where TLRY bought several of the brands from um, from Anheuser-Busch and that's really giving them a shot in the arm. So pushing up nicely here. Now I wouldn't want to chase it at this point. It's a little bit too stretched. Probably needs, uh, it might break out and then rest or could rest right in here and pull back and find some price support. But I would wait for that next entry into it if you're not already in there. And then we also saw a little teeny tiny guy, we're talking 60 cent guy, uh, Canopy, uh, canopy um, um, really um, had a nice couple of days here pushing up here and you'll notice that that is a breakout here of our 50-day moving average which push us, puts us into that pattern that we love to trade which is what we call the round of bottom breakout and any rest um, any consolidating pullback in here to hold above that 50 day could set up that next opportunity to the upside if you have any interest in trading something that is in that 60 cent range um, let's take a look at a few other areas of the market that are kind of um, interesting take a look at um, progressive progressive insurance has been showing some signs of bullishness here as you can see moving up in this trend working to break through some resistance it albeit it has been pretty darn choppy but as you can see in here that opportunity if we can hold those price support levels we may just stretch on through here to the upside keep an eye on progressive um, how about um, IRBT IRBT um, moving in this downtrend here but all of a sudden has picked up and we're putting in maybe a higher low and if you look closely you might be able to see something in here like a little bit of an inverted head and shoulders setting up i like the fact that we have this nice little tight consolidation right in here so i could without taking a whole lot of risk I could place a price alert right here, wait and see if we engage somewhere along this trend for that pop through. 
and look for that entry into that trade. T keep an eye on IRBT. Um, this TEVA has been extremely strong and holding in this a nice little pattern here. You can see our trend is very, very strong. Um, resting here just a bit out into um, that trend. We're um, holding above a little bit of price support in here. I would watch that closely to see if that can push on higher. Um, take a look at that U.S. Steel. I've been mentioning that here lately. Um, this is um, U.S. Steel um, rejected the deal uh, for takeover from Cleveland Cliffs, and that spiked the um, the, st the steel stock right up. You can see holding in here on a support moving to the upside, any rest or pullback would set up the next opportunity in there. I'd keep a close eye on that. Um, let's take a look at the energy sector. Boy, we're getting a move in oil this morning. And this, this can be a, a, a double-edged sword for us here in the market um, as, we, as we watch the CBX getting a nice little pop here. But keep in mind, every time these oil sector stocks go up, so do our gas prices. And that's going to have a knock-on effect for uh, the next reading of our CPI and PPI numbers as those energy prices rise. So kind of keep an eye on that. But that being said, CBX is looking pretty good here. If you take a look at Exxon Mobil, Exxon Mobil's working to break through some resistance here in the chart. Rallying up, I've mentioned APA several times. You can see um, we broke support in this chart, broke down through there. Now we're recovering. And the rule for me is re you recover the support, broken support, you hold it, and then you start looking for the next upside opportunity in that chart, the resumption of the trend. So um, a lot of good things happening here in uh, that sector. So keep an eye on um, energy. Good opportunity that we could start moving uh, back to the upside here. Other places in the market um, that I think um, have some interest here is GE, uh, General Electric. We lost a little bit of price support in here and we slipped beyond our trend just a little bit. We have that possibility that we could rally up here and fail that trend, but with the strength that we've been seeing here recently in GE, I kind of favor the, the idea that this may find that energy in here and pop on through. Keep a close eye on that. Take a look at some of the retail. Boy, uh, Walmart. Um, All-time highs here in Walmart. I'm going to go to a weekly. You can see we're breaking all-time highs. One of the retailers looking really strong here. So watch that carefully as we continue to move up here in Walmart. I wouldn't want to chase this area here, but any consolidating resting pullback that holds this higher low and holds this uh, support area may set up the next opportunity for uh, Walmart to move to the upside. And it may come along this upside trend. As you can see, there's this upside trend right in here. We've been respecting that, so rest that out in there and then look for that next upside in Walmart. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for listening and being here. I do appreciate it. I want to wish you all a profitable day on Friday here and then um, a wonderful, wonderful weekend with your family, um, hopefully. Um, you'll be able to um, get away and not worry about this market for a bit and have a really good time. I want to wish you all the very best. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you right back here bright and early next Tuesday morning.